with your friends. Um, cutting it very fine. It is the 13th of March. Uh, it's day 72 or perma day for 2021. Just. Um, and our poem today is Lock and Var by Sir Walter Scott. <laughs> the blurb for the poem says Walter Scott was a 19th century historical novelist and poet who was very popular during his lifetime. Uh, much of his work centred upon stories of adventure in the Scottish countryside, and this poem is no different. The poem is a narrative told in rhyming couplets of the dashing hero, Lochinvar. So this is Lochinvar by Sir Walter Scott. Oh, young Lochinvar has come out of the west. Through all the wide border, his steed was the best. And save his good broadsword, he, he weapons had none. He rode all unarmed, and he rode all alone. So faithful in love, and so dauntless in war, there, were ne there never was a knight like young Lochinvar. He stayed not for the break, he stayed not for break, and he stopped not for stone. He swam the e Esque River, where the ford there was none. But ere he alighted at Netherby Gate, the bride had consented, the gallant came late. For a laggard in love and a dastard in war was wed to the f to f was wed the fair Ellen of brave Lochinor. So boldly he entered the Netherby Hall, among bride's men and kinsmen and brothers and all. Then he spoke the bride's father, his hand on his sword, for the poor craven bridegroom said never a word. O oh, come ye in peace here, or come ye in war? or to dance at our bridal, young Lord Lockenvall. I long wooed your daughter, my suit you denied. Love swells like the Solway, but ebbs like its tide. And now I am come, with this lost love of mine, to lead but one measure, drink one cup of wine. There are maidens in Scotland, more lovely by far, that would gladly be bride to the, to the young Lockenvall. The bride kissed the goblet, the knight took it up, he quaffed off the wine, and he threw down the cup. She looked down to blush, and she looked up to sigh. With a smile on her lips, and a tear in her eye, he took her soft hand, ere our mother could bar. Now tread we, tread we a measure, said young Lochinvar, so stately as form, and so lovely her face, that never, that never a hall such a galliard did grace, while her mother did fret, and her father did fume, and the bridegroom stood dangling his bonnet and plume. And the bridesmaids whispered, "'Twere better by far to have a matched our fair cousin with young Lochinvar." One touch to her hand and one word in her ear, when they'd reached the hall door and the charger stood near. So light to the croup the fair lady he swung, so light to the saddle before he, before her he sprung. She is one we are gone over bank, bush and skull. They'll have fleet steeds that follow, quoth young Lochinvar. There was mounting Mongrames of the Netherby clan. Forsters, Fenwicks, and Musgraves, they rode and they ran. They were racing and chasing on Canaby Lee, but the lost bride of Netherby neared it to see. So daring in love and dauntless in war, have you ever heard of the gallant like young Lochinvar? Oh, that was lovely. Oh, I really like that. Oh. I hope you enjoyed that film. Um, and I can see that somebody else is watching, but it's not showing me who it is, so I hope you enjoyed that too. Um, just took us over into tomorrow, rather today. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, I promise I'm going to go and take my makeup off. I'm not going to sleep in this. Um, it looks a bit odd with this lighting, but it's still the same makeup I had in earlier. Um, so yeah, that's Saturday done. We've still got all of Sunday ahead of us and uh, thank you Phil, I, I really enjoyed that, um, yeah, makeup off, hair off my face, off to bed, I can hear the cats crunching their biscuits so it's definitely time, um, good night folks, sleep well, I'll see you, it's technically still tomorrow because we've not slept yet, good night.